In this problem, we have an equation with two logarithms, and we're going to solve for x. So the first thing to do, solution, is to um, combine the logs. So because we have uh, a minus, it's going to turn into a, a fraction. So the subtraction turns into a fraction. The rule is, if you have log base b of x minus log base b of y, that's equal to log base b of x over y. So it'll be log base 3, I'm going to use a bracket of the top part, so this one here, x plus 17 over, and then the bottom part, so this one here, x minus 9. And this is equal to 3. So now we just need to get rid of the log. So what you can do to get rid of the log is you can do something called exponentiation. So because the base here is 3, what you do is you put a 3 here. So now this whole thing is your exponent. Same thing here, you put a 3 here. So now this 3 here is your exponent. And what happens when you do this is that these cancel. So you're just left with x plus 17 over x minus 9. And then 3 to the third power. 3 to the third power. All right. So again, if, if there was like a 2 here instead of a 3, then you would put 2s on both sides. Just use whatever number is the base, and it'll get rid of the log. Let's go ahead and clean up these fractions. We'll multiply both sides by x minus 9. So x minus 9, and then x minus 9. So these cancel. So you get x plus 17 equals, so 3 cubed is 27. So this is 27 x minus 9. Wow, big numbers. I have a calculator with me here, so that's good. So let's distribute that, um, that 27. So x plus 17 equals 27 times x is just 27x. And then 27 times 9, I mean, we could do it by hand, but I don't want to mess up. So I got negative 243. Boom. All right, this is kind of nice because we don't have like a quadratic here. A lot of times when you do these problems, you have like x squareds, and so this is linear. We just have x. So all we have to do is find x. Um, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do it. Let's. I don't want to subtract the 27 because it's going to make it negative. So I'll subtract the x. So if 17 equals 26x minus 243, then now let's add that 243. It's funny how. Uh, I don't like negative numbers. It's it's common, I think, for people to like say, hey, I don't want the negative there, so let me, instead of subtracting the 27, we subtracted the x. It's kind of weird uh, how that works. 243 plus uh, 17 is 260. Oh, this is nice. And this is equal to 26x. And I say it's nice because look at the nice answer we get. When we divide by 26, we get x equals 10. Beautiful. So we should definitely check our answer. So I'm going to scroll back up and check. Whenever you have logarithms, you're always supposed to check. So when we check our 10, we're going to plug it back into this original equation. OK, so let's check 10. So we have log base 3 of 10 plus 17, which is 27. I'm just showing all of the steps, minus log base 3 of 10 minus 9. I usually skip steps. Like if I was just doing this and rushing through it, I would just write 27. So you, you can skip steps. This is log base 3 of 27 minus log base 3 of 1. And this should be equal to 3. So let's see. So log base 3 of 27, how do you do this? You look at this and you say, okay, 3 to what power is 27? So 3 minus log base 3 of 1. How do you do that? Well, you ask 3 to what power is 1? 0. So 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. So 3 is equal to 3. Yep, so that's the answer. So 10 is actually the answer. Now, if this is confusing, you can do this. This is really a nice way to do it. Just write it as a log of the 1 up top. So log of 27 divided by a log of the 1 on the bottom, log of 3. Then just put this in your calculator and you should get 3. Okay, it's called it's called the change of base formula. So just take the log of this, divide it by the log of this, and it'll give you it'll give you three. I hope this video has been helpful.